In the last video, we created a dynamic list with sections using a for each. If you have a list that lets users customize the order of their list or delete items, you will have to use a for each as well. Let's see how we can reorder a list first. In order to be able to move items around, we will need to do the following steps. Step one, update our array to use a state property wrapper. When declaring state properties, Apple suggests we always declare them as private. Step two, place the list items inside of a for each block. Step three, add a dot on move modifier to the for each block. Step four, add a function to move the items in the array. We can now reorder our list items. In order to be able to delete items, all we need to do is add the dot on delete modifier first. And finally, we add a function to delete the items in the array. By default, in iOS 16, you can edit and reorder items without the need of an edit button. If you would like to add an edit button, you would add the following to the navigation stack. Finally, if you want to enable and disable the move or delete functionality, you can use the dot delete disabled and dot move disabled methods. By setting either to true, it will not allow you to delete or move respectively. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.